Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial and today we are going to talk about navigation 2.0. This video is the continuation of another one where we talk about navigation 1.0 or the basic one. I will put you the link in the description for those who want to check it later. Today, we are going to learn what is navigation 2.0 what is the main difference between the classic one and navigation 2.0? Why and when should you use navigation 2.0 inside of 1.0? Then make an example with Go router package recommended by Flutter Teams. I hope you are going to like this one and learn a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are ready, let's go. Navigation 2.0 is the new way of navigation in Flutter. The problem that navigation 2.0 solve. Deep link management. It solved the routing issue with Flutter Web. It is also compatible with navigation 1.0 and it provides developers the ability to define routes a declarative way. When should you use navigation 2.0? It is great to use navigation 2.0, especially when you try to build a website with Flutter or if you are building a large app that requires deep link, for example, or at least if your app requires a complex routing system. Now we are going to make an example by building our own app with navigation 2.0. But first of all, we are going to add the last test version of Go router package and make pubget. Now we are going to clean the main file and initialize the Go router config. For doing that, let's initialize the router with default path and add other routes. After that, we are going to add a button on home page, which will redirect us to data page and the same for data page, which will redirect us to home page. There is another way to call our pages. We can decide to add tag name and make a redirection based on that tag without using a root. Let's just add the parameter name on go router and call context.go named inside of context.go in our home page. Now let's add another page called second page. You can decide which one of your pages is going to be the default page. For doing that, we are going to use initial location parameter in our router config. It will display the default page based on the route we were going to pass to it. But if your app is start by using deep link, it will be ignored.
how to pass a parameter with go router. Let's say we want to pass a name as parameter for data page. We are going to set it first on the path. Then on home page, pass a parameter in order to test it. We can also decide to do the same with go name. Let me show you. We can decide to coach all page node found by adding error builder in our config. By doing this, we are going to have default page in case our app didn't find any path related to any page. Thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe and if you have any comments, put it in the comment section or join our telegram group. Thanks and see you.